Welcome to Donmar TV News Channel. Pinabulaanan ng palasyo ang ulat na isinasantabi ng Duterte administration ng arbitral ruling na pumapabor sa Pilipinas kontra China sa usapin ng territorial dispute sa West Philippine Sea. Nang magbigay anya si Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte ng pahayag sa China na oras na may masaktan o mapahamak na Pilipino dahil sa panatili ng Chinese vessels malapit sa mga teritoryo ng bansa, gagawa siya ng mas matinding hakbang paggigiit na ito sa ruling ng UN Tribunal. Pumabor sa Pilipinas ang ruling ng Arbitral Tribunal sa ilalim ng United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea sa The Hague sa kasong isinampa ng Pilipinas laban sa China noong 2013. Hinihintay naman ng Duterte administration ang pagtugon ng China sa inihaing diplomatic protest ng bansa hinggil sa presensya ng mga Chinese vessel malapit sa pag-asa island. Noong nakalipas na linggo, nanindigan ng China na sa kanila ang Spratly Islands at may sapat silang historical at legal basis. That's why naipit ako, sabi ko, I have to go to China. China, sabi ko, I come here, Mr. C. I'm not looking for trouble. I just want your help. Sabi ko, kailangan ko itong mga armas because it appears that I'll be facing shortages. Bali, inutil na yung nagdaanan ng sabog, repair lang. They were old uh, stocks. So we will, we will give you. Uh, do not pay for it. Tapos ko lang pa pumunta ako ng Russia. Same. Sabi ko pupunta ako na dito ako sa Russia. I'd like to talk to Putin. Before I could see Putin, because he was in Georgia, which was about six hours away, pumotok na ang Marawi. So, yun na. Mabutit na lang, sabi ni President Putin, if you can wait, I'll be traveling six hours, we can talk late in the evening. So, nang usap kami doon sa isang palasyo niya na malapit sa airport, and after that, I took off. So, yun, I will give you the arms. As a matter of fact, bigyan kita ng equipments, trucks and uh, something else. Ayan ang, that is how America. Ang Canada, nagbigay tayo ng attack helicopters. Tapos, i-deliver na ito si Trudeau, ng papakurne. Pakunwari na peaceful, ganong, we want peace. Anong want pa? This is a troubled world. It, it has always been a troubled world ever since. Hindi naman nahinto yan eh. And itong mga EU, with all their hypocrisy, in 1912 up to 1917, the art, the joke of si Ferdinand was assassinated in Austria. That precipitated a war bet between and among the Russians. First World War. How many died? 17 million. Who was fighting? European against Europeans. And who wanted memory? Hanggang memory lang. Mayroong iba na tumitingin na sarilo. I can cut my lecture if you want. But I'm up to something. Pagkatapos nito, I'll tell you why. What ails this country? Papunta na ako dyan. Papunta na ako dyan. Ang, ang tinitingnan ko lang siya, I'd like you to picture the internal and uh, external forces that are making it hard for our life. So, gano'n yan. So, chopper, hindi delay nila. Bakit? You will use it against your own uh, citizen. For God's sake, Mr. Tudu, my own uh, citizens are rebelling against us. Killing my soldiers and policemen and civilians. And I cannot use the helicopter because they are citizens, but they are out to overthrow my government. If you cannot understand, you should not be there in that mighty post of yours. Because you do not know the history of the world and geopolitics. 
सेड तायम बच्चा पमता को ना चाय ना विनय बसदार आय वस विदि मिलिटरी लोरेन साना एंड यू वाज द चीफ ऑफ स्टाफ दिनला को सिला व्हेन आई वाज टॉकिंग टू द चाइनीज सबिन ना वला को गिनवा वला को सिनाबे वेल हिंदी को सिनाबे आई डोंट बदर द क्रिट आंसरिंग क्रिटिक नन जन सिला लहत कैबिनेट बायलैटरल गमे सबिस को मिस्टर सी जिंग पिन We also have a claim. You know, we have the award, but I will not insist on recovering the arm because it will result in a war, and it will be a massacre. I know. But uh, please, be it noted that one day during my term, I will assert. Ang assert ko ano ano bakit? yung oil. Ay okay, ko kusuluhin mo gulo talaga yan. Because if you struck oil now, ano ba naman yan dagat? Ano pa sa gdi? Imo na tara suyo pa. Pero putang ina yung mga uranium diyan yung ah, mahirap yan. Yung oil ba hirap yan. Diyan magka-diferensya na ta. Diyan mo na makita si Anya Magdala ng sundang dito sa panigbaso ng mga inchik. You know, my, my lolo was a Chinese lamb. My, my grandmother on the mother's side, Maranao. My father is a Subwano. He hails from Cebu. So, kayo mga inchik dyan, do not be offended. I'm one of you. Ngayon kayo mga Maranao, what are you? Totoo man. Eh, kena. Paket kau semua sama jasa. You know you are a Filipino. You belong to the Malay race. You are not an Arab. Do not pretend to be. Kau yang mengah Arab. Mak nolong. Bet kau bet kau surut suno jan. Itu itu nak. Is it just just rally there, or this is what I would tell them? Your grandfather, who was in shorts and tattered dress, 50 years ago was there. And you are the grandson now. And you do not want to go to spend your time in hating government. Well, I'd like to tell you, you cannot destroy this government, not in a million or a thousand years. We were young once. There's always a time for everything. I was once a disciple of Maria Sison. It's to jump take me. So you're imbued with so many ideas and you want the world to kneel down before you. That's what you want. Then you grew up. I said, there's always a time to be violent, to be principled, however crook it is. And a time to understand the world. We want a revolution, guys. You are wasting your time. And tapos yung paralelale ka jang well, just do it right because you have the right under the constitution or whatever. Blah blah blah. But do not go violent because I won't like that. At sa kaiton dito sa south, I'm warning you, rebel. Marami akong armas. You do some fighting there, I will freely use all the jets to bomb you. And if I hurt civilians, then it's part of the territory. Huwag kayo masyadong mag-atake-atake ng kampo magpatay because if you start a large political war, I will not hesitate to bomb you. Ay, 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 huwag na natin itong patagalin. Tataposin natin kung gusto ninyo. Panahon ko. Ayaw ko yan. Now, let us talk about your problem. Ako, open ako. I'm a PDP. But PDP, let us admit, was a moribund organization. It was not until after I became president na maraming EDP. But PDP is very fragile. 